Good evening, everyone. Um, tonight, I was inspired um, to share a true story of the journey that I've just been through. And I've been wanting to share the story since the day I got home from the hospital, but I just never had the energy. I, I just couldn't get it out. But I think that's God's way of saying, you know what? The story will be shared in my perfect timing. In other words, in God's perfect timing. And this week has been incredibly difficult and as the days go by it doesn't get any easier i don't think i've said um i am so sorry for your loss my deepest condolences so many times and it has weighed heavy heavy on my heart especially this last week when i had to accept those condolences um my sister-in-law maria died this last week, as well as my dear friend and fellow rheumatoid warrior, which is the one person in this world um, that was my twin. You know, we both had the same disease at the severity of it. We we're the same age, and we were both teenagers when we were diagnosed. And we both live here in Redlands, and we have the same surgeons and doctors, and just that connection, it's still very difficult as I just found out yesterday um, and and it's hard um, the recovery has been difficult <laughs> there's been so many you know downfalls and so many gosh uh, so many obstacles of a smooth recovery yet here we are and then my dear friend one of the ones that has really helped me get through this surgery um, and then knowing that her daughter died this week too. So that's what brings me to this story that I finally get to share. And it's for all of the families that are going through great loss, but also the families, you have to understand COVID-19 has affected anybody that is sick at this time, anybody in the hospital, anybody that's sick, anybody that needs surgery. We have all been affected greatly by COVID-19. You cannot have your loved ones with you in the hospital. Um, and it is terrifying. And I'm telling you from the patient's point of view, it is the scariest thing to wake up from a surgery or from anything, or just being in the hospital. For me, it was, you know, waking up from a surgery and being alone. And this story brings hope because although I could tell you the view of how scary it is to be in the hospital alone and go through something so horrific, I could also share a story of hope, of God's grace, and that just every time I look around and everywhere I go, I know that he is with me. And he shows me by the simple things like the story I'm gonna tell you. And you just know that that's God's grace. So may you be comforted if your loved one is in the hospital, um, if you're going through um, a loss, a death of a loved one, just know that in these simple signs, I guess you could say, <laughs> gestures that God gives us, if you open your eyes everywhere you go, you know that he's not far away. And as I tell this story, um, I'm going to switch to a photo of the hero that God used, the angel, whatever you want to say. Um, she's my hero and my angel. And what she did I'm going to explain it, but I want to show you, so remember it as I tell you this story. It was simply like that. I'll be back. This is the story of my hero, also known as Miss Brenda, the CNA that would walk into my room the night that I was in horrific pain and my pain was out of control. I'll never try and understand why the nurse denied me of the medication, and it would be eight and a half hours before the doctor would come to my rescue. And this is the young lady that would watch me suffer and had no power to help me. At this point, I will refer to her as Brenda Unmasked. <laughs> Brenda walked into my room and she felt horrible in the amount of pain I was in and she felt helpless that she couldn't do anything. Um, and I was listening to my music, I was curled over, and I was just rocking myself. 
from the pain and I was just trying to get through and she noticed that I had my Christian music playing and she asked she said Do you like that music and I said yes I said it really just helps me get through moments like this and I was just curled over rocking myself and just crying and just trying not to think and trying not to move because I just I, I had no control and I wasn't going to get the medication I would need until eight and a half hours later and then she says you know there's a song that I really like and I asked her at that moment would you please play it for me and she did because she knew that that was something that was comforting me and although she you know she was the certified nursing assistant and didn't have the authority to help me so in that special way she did play that song and it really did help me but at that moment what meant most to me and I would tell her at the end of my stay is you will never know she sat on my bed or she didn't sit, sit on my bed but she was at my bedside and she simply she just put her hand on my head as I was rolled over and I get teary-eyed because it was so powerful the love and human compassion of this young lady and it was just so comforting beyond any words that I could tell you and it was simply I just smiled because I could feel God's love through her hand upon my head for was it really the hand of Christ that was working and I share this little story to bring hope because you know what God just shows up in the oddest of places when we least expect it especially in the moment of crisis and I think if you just look around you will see him as well whether it be someone you loved has just died someone's in the hospital and you can't be there with them know that God is God is with you God is with them and God is going to provide those health care workers so let us all you know pray for those health care workers um, and may they be as passionate and compassionate as Miss Brenda. Um, she was the most amazing young lady. She showed me so much love and she has no idea that it was her love that got me through the darkest moment of that hospital stay. I could never repay her, um, but I did share the story with her how much what she did meant to me and that it was because of her that I was able to endure and persevere until the doctor got there. I knew that um, God was with me, I knew that He had sent me her, and she gave me exactly what I needed, and it was just that human kindness, that understanding, like that empathy, and I wish we would see more of that in the world, but you know what, I think as um, we seek to make sense of everything that is going on all around us, if we just take that moment, if we we are going through um, the loss of our loved ones or our loved ones are in the hospital, let us just have that faith that God is going to provide and be there for them in these special ways. And that, that those of us that are going through it, that we will recognize it, whether it be all of a sudden our finances, everything that we needed, those finances are met, or a friend that calls in a moment that we needed compassion or someone there um, that we may understand and see that that was God that every little need was met for those of us in the hospital those health care workers you know that is God working through them and that's why I pray for them daily because I know the needs that they they meet um, especially when families aren't allowed in the hospital so um, I hope that you find comfort in this and I hope that um, you continue to be aware of God's grace and God's love, um, even in these moments of crisis and hardships. Um, if we just take that moment, God is always there. And that's why I just, I never lose faith because he's always so, his presence is always so strong around me. I can't deny it. Um, there is another story of another certified nursing assistance, but that will have to wait for another day. But let's all thank Miss Brenda, my hero. And let us also thank all the healthcare workers, um, whether they be our physicians, our um, surgeons, our nurses, our LVNs, our CNAs, and also that were remarkably compassionate are the people that come clean up your room. 
There is so much love and so many people standing in proxy for our family members. So if you have a chance, say a prayer for all of them tonight. And and remember, God is with you and God bless you. And my prayers are with all of you.